Hello friends, it's me, Aaron, the other host, you know, the one that has the deeper voice. Yes, me. Hi, you're right. So, this is Series 1, Episode 1 of Inexperienced, the podcast. The first ever episode, if you don't count the pilot. Don't count the pilot. So this is the first episode ever. But, obviously, beginner's luck, we had technical issues and other issues. So they're fixed. I hope. Yeah, they're, they're fixed. I hope. So, um, the rest of the series will be coming out in July. Don't worry, this is just like a little teaser, a taster for you. So, sit tight, and Series 1 will be out in July, every week, on a Friday. I just, I can't tell you what Friday, because uh, we don't know. But it's in process, it's, we're working on it, and uh, yeah, we hope to see you soon. Well, we hope you'll hear us soon. We won't see you, but you get the idea. So, this is inexperienced. Sit back, grab a can of Coke, or, you know, like a cup of tea, and just relax. Unless you're at work. Don't do that. They might fire you. Just a carry on working. Nothing to see here, just listening to a podcast. Cool. Right, enjoy. Bye. Drop it low, up, down, up, down, up, down. And that is how you drop it low. Hello, I'm Aaron and I may have a hemorrhoid. Hello, I'm Karina and my favourite word is bungalow. And together we are inexperienced. inexperienced. What's all this radio voice I'm putting on right now? I don't know what it is. No, I think it's, it's the same. <laughs> what is this? Bungalow. Let's say some good words. Hemorrhoid. <laughs> I'm genuinely worried. Uh, it's fine. I may have a spot in my bum. It might be a pimple. It might be... I'm going to... Well, well, is it coming out of your... No. Is it protruding out yeah, of your... Is it like a... It's just in the red, cheeks. Red, angry bulb. It's a bit angry and red, but it was. But I've not, like, caused a hemorrhoid. How do you cause a hemorrhoid? Like, by sitting on the cold floor. Sitting on the toilet too long. By getting pregnant. Oh, really? Pregnant people get hemorrhoids. Pregnancy's awful. <laughs> right? Poor ladies. And then, <laughs> um, if you push me, I don't need to push. Oh. Apparently. But I don't sit in the toilet too long. I've got IBS. What do you expect? No. Okay, well. Moving on. Moving on from the hemorrhoid story. Yeah, it's not good. Not good. I think I'm okay. I'll let you I'm know. I'm not going to check. No, please don't. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll let you know. It's fine. <laughs> so. Hemorrhoid update. Um, yeah, ooh. What is... Ooh. Just loves a plastic bird. We are with Ziggy today. Um, Karina's naked cat. And, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he... You might hear He's some in a bag. disturbances. He's in a bag. Will he suffocate himself? No, he likes to sit in them, though. And yeah. he likes to lick them. It's fine by me. It's <laughs> fine by me. Good old bag Ziggy. Bag for life. Oh, there he is. Hey. Hey, buddy. Hey, Ziggy. So, if you hear anything... There's a naked cat around, and he's great. So Aww, he is. He, I love he him. Is. I love Ziggy to bits. He's so oh fucking God. cute. He's so, so fucking good. good. He's like the kind of angry cute where you want to kill something. Yeah, or, so, or like eat it. so that's a phenomenon called cute aggression. <laughs> Apparently, your brain gets so overwhelmed with the positive emotion, oh. your bre- it has to bring in a negative one to balance it out before oh. you like implode. So that's that's where the aggression is. So sometimes when I'm stroking him, I'm like. You are so cute, and then I put my hands around his head, and I'm like, I'm gonna crush your little skull. You're so cute. Like, I love you so much. I'm gonna crush your rib cage. This is Karina's second cat. <laughs> she killed the other one. Mysterious circumstances. It's a very weird barbecue. <laughs> and now she's vegetarian. She kind of changed her ways, which True is great. True story. It's great. great. The next cat she'll be like completely meat eater. Well, this one I don't have to defer. So. Oh, that's true. Just whack him straight on the rotisserie. 
And he's self-lubricated. He's got loads of oil already. It's pretty yeah, oily. so, I mean, he'll really, fry, he'll fry what, you're, what you're saying is Sphinx cats are asking to be fried, rotisserie roasted. I put them in a dry pan. <laughs> Turn them over every now and then. <laughs> I haven't got a big enough pan. Medium rare? Mm. 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 Delicious. Mm -mm. Oh, actually, that's my favourite. You're doing a chewy pussy. <laughs> oh, no. hey, but each, thanks, mate. So good. we're back for inexperienced the podcast or the inexperienced podcast or what inexperienced we're calling it. I mean, we're, we're horribly inexperienced. inexperienced. Just inexperienced. Just one word. And then you know it's a curious podcast. We yeah. we are curious about things. I know I am. Yeah. Yes, Siggy. Oh, we know. You Hopefully you heard that and it was really freaking cute. Oh, he's done my bum. Oh, he's on your non-existent bum. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we all can't have a marble sculpted bum like you. Oh, stop it. You got lots of bum. Nothing else, though. Just the bum. I like my bum. I like your bum. Hello, Ziggy. How are you? Meow. Are you going to speak? Go to the mic. No, <laughs> he's shy. Oh, he did a little... Oh, we'll have to listen to it back to see if we've mm. heard that. Anyway, distracting. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Come out. We're here to chill. Let's this is episode like one, <laughs> so this is yeah. our warm up. We're, oh, hello Ziggy. Yes, we're going to stop talking to the cat now. We're sorry. It's right, so okay. hard. Not it's to really hard. It's just so it's impolite. Do you know it's cats only meow for humans. They don't actually meow each other. Just oh. for humans. How weird. Yeah, so I can't. I don't do feel obliged to answer. <laughs> it's a bit rude, isn't it? Really. I'm a, I'm so turned to crazy cat lady though because sometimes I'll be. Oh, we did it again. And, uh, and then he doesn't answer me, and I get annoyed. And I'm like, well, I'm talking to you. Why are you being so rude? Yeah. <laughs> hey, we are really easily distracted. But he is cute. He's so fucking cute. We might post a picture on the Instagram. Oh, my God. Should we do, do that? It. We'll do that. Yeah. We'll put him on there. He might be on the poster. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway. Um, yeah, in experience. This is series one. We're changing the format a bit, making it more controlled in a yeah. good way. Like... You know, we're not going to be searching. We're 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 just going to choreograph it a little bit more Ooh, in a sense. Choreograph. Nice. In a, yeah, in a sense because yeah, like oh, you know, it's a good word. I think it's going to be a professional, more professional. Yeah, so we got a more of an aim of what we're doing. Mm. So we'd rather do a series of like ten episodes, maybe eleven, or of that length. Focus on them, make sure they're really good, instead of piling out one every week and they're going to get shit and they're going to be rubbish and a bit we're not going to have time to do them so we'd rather focus on one series put that out be proud of it come back for another series in a month or two yeah wouldn't we yeah it's more fun that way as well and as the ideas go I just go along with it <laughs> just, I just turn just, oh yeah yeah it's me too uh, not I, really. like, I want to do a podcast I can't do it by myself I need my funny friend and they weren't available but they can't so, <laughs> <laughs> you're going to say that <laughs> <laughs> it's so predictable. Just, but just I got Karina. I got Karina. Um, yeah, she's great. I love her. So anyway, oh. um, um, yeah, we're gonna have fun. But this is series one: sex and love. Sex and love. Sex Two and of my favourite things. Not always inclusive or exclusive. They can yeah. be very separate, or they can be together. You can together. love sex if you, you want. You can't see this, but I'm actually making the sex thing with my finger in my. I mean, if series one goes well, we should start filming it. As yeah. well, do a broadcast as well. Because we definitely have faces for radio, <laughs> but we should punish our fans with our faces. Yep, if we get fans. <gasps> we will. We've got one fan. Shout out to Patrick. Who's Patrick? Um, he came to see... You met him before. Short, bearded guy. Where oh, are? no, you weren't there. You're, you're a square one, St. Patrick, or a leprechaun. Oh, I showed you a picture of him. Okay. Hi, Patrick. Thanks for listening. Let me just... Oh. You know, he's the one with the... That's oh, me. that's you. Uh, oh, he's love... Anyway... I like to send really unflattering selfies to Karina. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take... <laughs> I know. Hello. Hi, Patrick. Patrick. How are you, Patrick? <laughs> you alright? <laughs> Yeah, anyway. Anyway, let's have a little sit down. You're lame. Oh, no, you can be more than a bit of 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 a bit You are deflated in a good way. I'm propped up, ready, fresh. Modern, modern. We've got a new setup. 
It won't be here for long because I'm moving, but we're going to keep it chilled and it'll probably be in my room next time as well. Oh, we're, yes, we're in my bed like with um, <laughs> yeah, it's like teenagers. You should see this bread spread, guys. It's sassy. It's leopard print. Got it from Asda. She gets some. It's it's. I feel I, I feel like there's a picture of Nicholas Cage in oh, his no. leopard print pants <laughs> on a on a on a spread. I feel like him right now. Is that another thing for the Instagram? Yeah, yeah. Maybe should, every we week we'll put like him. a collection of it of pictures on one post, so you can yeah. see about the episode. Because a lot of podcasts do that, don't they? Mm-hmm. They have like this is what was in this episode. Here's some pictures to look through, that kind of thing. Yeah. So we might do that. We'll have Ziggy. We'll have us. We'll have some sexy leopard print. We'll have Nicolas Cage. I hope you're remembering this. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Mm. I'm storing it in my brain. In your brain. Okay. So, what is sex and what is love, Karina? What is sex? Mm, well, sex. I think it's when. Two is it just people... penetrative? Penetrative. No. Can you speak? Is that the word? Penetrative. There we go. There we go. Got it. No. No. It's when two people touch naughty bits. Yeah. And that could be with any other part (laughs) of their body, but it involves the naughties. Doesn't have to be penetrative, especially in homosexual relationships. Yeah, because some people go, oh, you didn't have sex then, and I go... No, they can't. They both have vaginas. how would you... (laughs) Well, they, they have sex. If you're touching any part of the genitals, that's sex, isn't it? I don't think it should just be solely... No. I think that's kind of outdated now. It is. It is very outdated. Outdated, I can't speak. So I think it's just pleasuring each other in a sexual way. Pleasuring. That is sex. Mm. Pleasure. Maybe getting a climax. (laughs) If you're lucky. Well, boys, you will get one. Girls, you might not. You might not. (laughs) <laughs> two, guys will, two guys Practice will finish AM. two guys will finish unless there, there's a circumstance stopping them but they will most likely finish God. and then they won't finish you off bastard mm. they are just they'll just fall asleep. asleep have you ever fallen asleep doing it? I haven't, but someone else has Oh. afterwards, I was like oh thanks you've not been <laughs> so tired that you're like oh no, no. someone did to me, I was like oh thanks alright oh don't listen to this, Mum. But I'll finish myself off. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate. Anyway. Oh, Mum. Not my mum. I know what I mean. Oh, yeah, it wasn't my mum. Oh, God. That's not what I'm saying. What is love? Baby, don't hurt, hurt me. me. What is love? Don't hurt me. Love is very strong feelings towards another human. Yeah. But we are talking in the romantic sense. We're not talking about love no. your mum. Love, love your sister. Your Actually, love you. Oh, no! Or your pet cat. What do you say on the matter, Ziggy? It was going to the mic as well. What do you say, Zig? No. <laughs> his balls are tiny. That, that's just his scrotal sack. <laughs> oh, he's been gone. Yeah, been done. they've removed the. Because the, when I took him to the vet, because I adopted him, she said, Has he been neutered? And I said, Well, <laughs> I've been told <laughs> that he. <laughs> well, I've been told that he has been. She goes, I'm just going to check. <laughs> And then she did, and she went, oh, no. No, it's just his <laughs> prominent scrotal sack. I was like, that's my boy. <laughs> Why that boy? Get off my clothes. He's going to jump up there, I bet. Oh, God, it's, oh God, it's, it's, not, it's not safe. It's not sturdy. It's not sturdy, Karina. Do you need me to... Get down, Ziggy. Intervene. Get down, Ziggy. Oh, God. Just the not leaving with this, my God. Ziggy, get down. <laughs> He's going to, like, fall on his face. <laughs> These things are not secure. That's my work uniform. Thank you, Ziggy. Oh, now he's scratching to bits. Lovely. This is just what you like, <laughs> I'm afraid. No. Oh, right, okay. Cat intermission. Oh, do you have fun? It was Ziggy here on the floor. That was high. <laughs> okay. It wasn't that high. You weren't that tall. Oh, dreams oh. can come true. Dreams can, can come, come true. true. Anyway, love. Love is... We're talking about romantic love. Mm-hmm. If that's... A, you know, there is a difference. Yeah. Not someone who's family or friends. Like, I love Karina as a friend. As a sister. She's like a yeah, sister to me. Yeah, like a sister. <laughs> You've got a sister's own. I've actually got a sister. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you've got a brother, I've got a sister. What are you saying, Mish? Hook up? No, I'm that saying that. Just don't do that. Oh, no. No, I couldn't. That would be weird. Poor Katie. Poor your brother. <laughs> Hi, Liam. <laughs> Sorry. Cool. Katie would be awful with you. She don't deserve you. She deserves better. 
<laughs> I was going to say, whoa. 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 No, nah, you're, you're, you're right. You're okay. Anyway. You're broadly fine. Oh, you're, you're in the spectrum of good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I love him. But I, it's very different to loving someone romantically, isn't it? Yeah. Some people probably don't ever feel it. It might be like, I don't know. I mean, there must be someone out there who's never been in love. Never been in love. Can't speak. I like have you been caffeine. in love? I don't know. I don't think I have yet. I've nearly fallen for people. Mm. But I don't think I've been in love in that way. Mm. I've had very strong feelings of really liking someone. Mm. Have you? Yeah, I don't know. It's difficult, isn't it? Because no, no. What is can it? Can you? Can you? Is it love if it doesn't? If it's not reciprocated, mm. is it love if it ends in failure? Is it? Love? Do, I think it's got to be reciprocated. Mm. In I that thought, case, no. Oh, that's sad, isn't it? But then you love them; they just don't love yeah. you. Yeah. I think love is have to be but so. Was it love or was it infatuation? Yeah. What, yeah. Was yeah. it love? Because did I feel like it was love because actually it was safe and I could because mm. I knew it wasn't going to be returned. Mm -hmm. Is that just me almost like I don't know love blocking myself Ooh. by going after? You do that a lot. You do that a lot, Karina. You, you want do, available. You do, you do block yourself quite a bit. And <laughs> wow, we're going there. Hey, no, he knows. He knows. Do I have to block out his surname? Oh wait, maybe. I'm going to beep out his surname, oh. just in case. You could just block out the hand. Ah. <laughs> oh, now that gag's gone as well, it's not going to work, is it? I'll just edit it, it's fine. <laughs> the miracle of editing. Yeah, well, yeah, we, could, we could put his name in there, just let him know he's in it. Yeah, hey buddy. Oh. oh. <laughs> so, yeah, I think love is something so pure, it's hyped up in my mind quite a bit. It's like so oh, pure. That both of you feel the same way. Like a soulmate, I hate that phrase, but I think there's a thing where love is where you feel it and it reflects back and it's the same feeling between two people. Do you, that is love. Do you think you only have one soulmate? No. No, it's just too many people in the world. Like, isn't it? You'd, be, you'd be missing, you're screwed. Yeah. If they die, you're All screwed. The, yeah. There's got to be more than one. Like, there's not that many different personalities in the world. No, there's not, is there? No, no. I know everyone's Sick. unique and stuff, but you're not. There's someone just like you in China. <gasps> there is. I wonder if she's more successful. No, she's just like you. <laughs> oh, hell. <laughs> she's, <not. laughs> she's great. Yeah, I bet she's got lots of friends. If it helps, she's got many STIs. What a... S so you're, you're fine. There's nothing wrong with being a little bit... But she doesn't care. She's not, che she not checking herself up. She's not trying to solve it. She's just spreading them around. She's a big bitch, actually. The first episode, well, the next episode, will be polyamory and open relationships and polygamy and monogamy. Monogamy? Monogamy. <laughs> oh, is that also the one? Monogamy? What's this monogamy? It's monogamy. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. It's like my love life. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> this is now Karina's pity story, isn't it? Yeah. I'm doing all right. Yeah, actually, I think I decided it's fine. It is fine. Well, yeah, you was, I panic because I'm 30 now. Oh, that's the thing, isn't it? I did recently. But that's a societal norm. Put on woman. Well, this is what I'm saying. You can freeze your eggs. Maybe I should. It's expensive. Do I want children, though? This is the other question. You don't leave your options open, don't you? I suppose. Someone else could have them. Why would anyone else <laughs> want them? Exactly. God. Unless they turn out like your mum, she's cool. She is my. She's cool. Hey, Beth. So, <laughs> why is every, every podcast involved? We say how great Bev is. It's because it just, just happens. It just happens. This is natural. There's breathing. Hi, Bev. You're great. So, <laughs> um, after that, we have long distance relationships. I've never been in one. I have. Oh. Even in Swansea. Ziggy, get away from the window. Is it really open? Oh, <laughs> my cat's gone. Do it. That's a, that's a tall window as well. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, we must never cat intermission. We can just... That'll be fine. That'll be fine, yeah. just get out. <laughs> it's, a, oh, it's a long way down. The naked child had to escape the window. I'm not going to be bad. Nearly fell two stories. Oh, God. <laughs> that would be a fun. Oh, God. <laughs> that would be awful. 
Ich 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 We love him. We do. <laughs> okay, where were we? Queen has been in one. We'll hear some stories of that. And mm -hmm. I'll try and find some statistics if they're actually successful. Not in Karina's case. No, no. obviously. <laughs> um, She's not married. I'm not married. Um, it, which actually leads us nicely on to the online dating horror stories. Karina has uh, been to. I have an, uh, an array of those for you. Oh, Ziggy. Oh. I don't know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> Bear with us, cat intermission. What are you doing? I said Sorry, stop. Oh, it's locked things over. And we're back from the cat intermission and a bit of drag race. We watched a bit of drag race. Oh, God, it was so good. I was trying to prove to Kravina that uh, Katia Zamalogikova is the best. God, that was so impressive. I love her. Yeah, she didn't make me laugh. Is it weird to fancy a drag queen? No. Something that really fluid with my you. sexuality. <laughs> I think it makes you. T I think you'd be insane not to because drag queens have everything. True. Everything. Another one is a door Delano. I kind of fancy her a bit. Oh, hello. Right? Yeah. Right? So pretty. Plausible woman. She's a queen. Plausible woman. Mm hmm. Because he's also a very pretty man. God damn it. Oh. I don't do well around attractive people, though. Alaska. Kind of fancy her a bit. Oh yeah. Fuck, yeah. Mm. She's her makeup is terrible. Oh, it's so, so bad, good. but, but she so is hilarious. <laughs> anyway, enough about drag queens. We need to do a drag queen special episode. <gasps> oh yeah. What's have you got? Um, probably his bags. He's just gonna have a little lick. Oh, is that his bags? Yeah. Oh, that's adorable. He's cool got bags. his own bags with him. <laughs> so the next um part of the series will be online dating. Success stories. Yeah. Do you ever get too much saliva in your mouth? Yeah. <coughs> All day, every day. <laughs> Sorry. I have to read out the data protection to everyone. Oh, no. Um... Just to let you know, we expect sales do store and process all of your personal information, but we don't pass that along to anyone else. And for some reason, during Jesus. that time, uh, my mouth gets super salivary, <laughs> and I can feel it all in the corners of my mouth, and I'm like, I can't stop now. <laughs> and I can't just go... And I'm just so you know, especially if it's a store and process... <laughs> Your personal information, don't pass that on to anyone else. You should, you so should. Excuse me, gulp. A guy who got overly <coughs> salivary there. Too My excited. apologies. You're too excited. I forget to swallow before I say it. Oh, speaking of swallowing. Erotic literature and fan fiction. We have some fun <laughs> fan fiction for you. I'm excited. We're going to look at bad literature as well. Oh, Like bad. Like yeah. Fifty Shades of Grey bad. Oh, and hopefully, she doesn't know this yet, hopefully got a friend who's a writer, Jessie. Hey buddy. Get here now. Um, Come here immediately. Yeah, we need guests for these. We need to Like, you. we do have an idea of a guest for long distance relationships too, because they're in one, currently. So, um, we have to ask them first. But we got ideas. We got ideas. Okay. We've got ideas. People can't say no to these faces. Yeah, since we've like asked them. Yeah. On the, on the podcast. Jesse, thank you. Thank you in advance. God. Number six, episode seven, wherever it is, wherever we are now. We're on six. Well, well, this is episode one, technically. Oh, but so, we're talking about six. Yeah, point number six. That we're going to hit. Like in the a, face. Like a nice, aggressive punch right up the nose. Oh, yeah. in the ear. Oh, box both the ears at the oh, same time. Oh, you mean that like the tango I that? No. Do you remember that? Like, well, you've been tangoed, and it was like an orange man. Yeah, remember Come that. up behind, like, come up, run up you, and then smack you on the cheek. What? Yeah, you go, you've been tangoed. And then it's a bit aggressive. You. Yeah, it was horrible. And then um, a, a paediatrician had to write in and said, can you can you not do this? Because children have been doing it to each other and perforating oh. each other's ears. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, it was really bad. So they turned it into a kiss, I think. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, so instead of being, like, violent, it was now, then it like, sexually... It was very sexual. Yeah, so like, I think they gave up on that campaign pretty. Yeah. Anyway, Tizer was quite weird as well. That an exploding head. Tizer. Mm. Oh yeah. Like a red head, exploding liquid. Yeah. Oh, flipping love adverts. Like Speaking of loving adverts, <laughs> the next one is fetishes and kinks. Queen loves an advert. Oh, I do. Oh yeah, I reckon. I reckon someone gets off on Madman. Well, Madman. Hmm. Have you not seen Madman? No. Well, that joke was ruined. Hopefully someone got it. <laughs> Sorry. It's like, it's a kind of pun on the admin. 
The way you've written it, it looks like fetishes and knives. It does. That might be one. Oh, it probably is one. It's a dark turn, isn't it? That doesn't look like knives. That's definitely an eye. That's definitely kinks. Yeah, thank you. For sure. At least killers. Nice. And then, episode 8, Sexuality Spectrum. Episode 9.8. Oh, I'm yeah. confusing Karina here. God this, is episode, this is episode 1. Sorry, and... Ignore uh, the numbers. <laughs> let's just ignore that. Soz. Um, what yeah, is it, sexually, Sexuality Spectrum. Yeah, there's a lot so of sexuality. There's a new idea, right? That that um, that people are are their sexuality is on a spectrum rather mm. than just the three basic ones. Yeah, he straight, he heterosexual, and straight are the same thing. <laughs> Bisexual and homosexual. But then you've also got like beyond homosexual as well. Actually, mm. I don't know if it's beyond or it's like if we talk about spectrum. I don't know if it's like in between bi and homosexual, or it's after homosexual, like or being pansexual, mm. which yeah. I kind of relate to a little bit, but we can explain that in the episode. Yeah. Um, also, you've got the other end, which is like the other side of hetero, or mm -hmm. just not on the spectrum at all, asexual. Yeah. They're not on the spectrum at all, I suppose. Yeah. Not on the spectrum, because they don't care for it. They don't care for There's no... For sex. Uh, do you think it's chemical? It must be chemical. It's not a preference. Well, it could be a preference. They could just not want to. I think it's trauma. It could I be traumatised. Traumatised, yeah. Or it just could be they haven't got the chemicals to want to reproduce. Which is the main urge. Mm. Even if you're a man who likes another man, the urge to reproduce is still in your body, I think. Yeah. Well, obviously not going to reproduce because it's another man. Yeah. We've still got the weird primal instincts in us, haven't we? That yeah. make us want sex. Mm. I don't know. Is that weird to say? Is that a bit dated? Well, so no. we're doing it to reproduce? We could argue that's the basis of all life and that maybe homosexuality came about as to a way to curb the population. Oh, a choice? It just a, just is an that what evolutionary... You're saying? Ooh, this is interesting. Like an evolutionary thing but where... Just, yeah. Just to stem the flow of the this ever-increasing mm. thing. That's why I heard that. Interesting I I'm it. excited for this episode. It'll be a good episode. But obviously, Ooh, just, so you know, just so you know, guys... We're both, um, at least, allies. Yeah. We all get into what we are in the episode. But, um, yeah, it'll be a very... It'll be more informative. We're not going to make these judgy or horrible and that kind of thing. So, yes, we're curious. Also on the spectrum, <laughs> being curious. <laughs> that is on there. Yeah. Must be. It's got to be on there, isn't it? It has to be. What else is there? We're not going to go into, like... Illegal things like liking animals and stuff because that's just that's, just, that's weird. We don't deal with that right now. <laughs> we don't like that. It's not beyond, you know, that's beyond our. That's a bit illegal. Yeah. <laughs> We're keeping it legal. <laughs> um, speaking of keeping it legal, <laughs> do this works? Yeah. The porn industry. Oh, it's lovely, lovely porn. I wanted to look into this. Yeah. Because I want to do some research and find out how much porn I can watch in one night. <laughs> Without I'm joking. Throwing up. Oh, with weird. your penis or your mouth, either way. Hmm. I feel like <laughs> there's, quite, there's quite a lot actually, isn't there, on Netflix and things. Yeah, there's it's a documentaries one. within pornography. Mm. Uh, oh my god! Oh my god! No, I know, I know you want to get up there, but you can't. <laughs> worried about work oh. shirt completely. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. What happens, Ziggy? Don't eat my treats. What am I doing? Stop trying to get out there. I don't think you can eat chocolate. Oh, I know it's poisonous, poisonous for dogs, but I don't know. That's Karina kissing the cat, not me. Yeah, you know, Ziggy. <laughs> yeah, Ziggy, I know. Sphinxes are very vocal. <laughs> anyway, um, I wanted to look to see if they are treated fairly. Um, what kind of... If, what porn stars. How often or... they have to go through tests. Yeah, porn <laughs> stars. That kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I will find some things. I've already got some sources. I don't know any porn stars, unfortunately. It'd be kind of cool to have an interview. But that would be cool. It'd be so cool. But um, I know there are things out there. And we'll even talk about, like, cam people. Live cams and all that. Oh, yeah. That's another I thing. I that was a song. Mm. Yes, it is. Category. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. Would you ever do that? Nah. I watch it. You watch it, but you, mm. wouldn't, you wouldn't do it. No. No. I'd, unless I hid my face. 
Well, I know too many people that would probably... That's a bit cocky to say, isn't it? I don't want people knowing that I do it. Yeah. That's a bit silly, I know. I wouldn't do porn either, so... No, I wouldn't. Unless, I, unless no one knew me. That's what I'd be embarrassed by. If there was an another planet you could go to to do pornography. Yeah, I'd do it. Why nobody... You know, but I don't, I don't think it's very enjoyable, obviously. No. I think it's very clinical. I saw a thing where they're like things that you you wouldn't dare ask a um, porn star. Mm. They were like, oh, is it enjoyable? And they all said it's more fun off camera. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Might be weird just being naked with someone all the time. It's your job. Yeah, like, not, not just that. Like, to have... like It is a performance though, isn't it? Yeah. And, and then obviously there's a the thing of do you guys have it harder? Because they've got to be hard all the time, which must be difficult. Or is it going to hurt the girl having that done to them all day? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It works both ways, obviously. But I can't, I can't, I can't about imagine how much sex you can have in a day. What the frick? I think he's probably on the counters. It's fine. It's fine. Oh no, he's just. What you doing? Come on, you. <laughs> he's destroying my flat. Um, it's fine. But no, um, yeah, obviously it's difficult both ways. But I couldn't imagine being a guy having to do that. I, uh, oh, I can't be, imagine being a woman. Yeah, it's going to be difficult. We'll find out. Um, different but no thank things. you for us. No thank you. No thank you. No thank you. We'll just watch it. Fun. Hot pass. <laughs> and then the last one is a nice cheery one. Marriage and divorce. Oh, yay. And, um, We've got some stats and some fun things about marriage and divorce. Haven't we, Queen? Oh, yeah. And... Yeah, I don't know if, what we'll go into, but we'll probably go into quite dark stuff. Like, how it affects children, if it affects children. Um, Do we actually thing. need marriage now? Is it a thing if you're not Christian? Well, is there a point to it? How do people do it if they're not in a traditional relationship? Exactly. So, um, obviously, there are pros and cons. Um, most of the pros are legal, financial, security-based. But we will get into that, won't we, Karina? Oh, the eighth fold. Yeah, my voice hurts. Yeah, I'm <laughs> too. Should we rip this up? Rub it up. Let's rub this bit up. Rip, rip, rip it up. Um, I need to find my... Uh, there it is. So, um, yeah. Yeah. That's, this, is the, this is the episode. Um, and, yeah. How do we end off? We haven't got a sign off or anything. Really? Oh my god, we don't. Um, we could make it aggressive or sexual. <laughs> or aggressively sexual. Oh, oh my favourite kind. Oh. So, like, bye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. No. be sorry I said bye. <laughs> I'm not worried about yeah. what that um, doing. Yeah, so see you in episode number two. One. Numero Uno. Oh, that's this one. Is, this, is one. <laughs> this is another one. Numero Dos. 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 Oh, well done, Karina. I'm actually trying to learn. Are you? Yeah. Try harder. Bye. Bye. Fuck off.